Yo, what up? Yo, what up? Dude, I've called you like five times. Like, why? You're not returning my phone calls? I really have nothing to say to you. Oh, you're mad at me? What are you mad at me for? Because I've been hearing about who your new little best friend is, and I don't, uh, Dude, I don't respect Dude, if you are mad at me for hanging out with Lauren, that is ridiculous. It's like, how long are we friends for? I'm not going to have an enemy just because you hate her. That's just not who I am. Yeah, you make excuses, this and that. I care about loyalty, and you have none of it. Dude, if you can plug in your connect, pop this disc into the Xbox 360, load the game, and then successfully position yourself in one of its on-screen silhouettes, congratulations, you're officially more talented than anyone who's actually in this game. Ugh, this, this is like putting Tom Hanks in Plan 9 from Outer Space. Brody. The Broadster. Rough night last night, boys. Yeah, it was for you. I mean, what do you mean? I woke up early, wanted to enjoy the nice surf, and uh, look who I see come out of uh, Brody's room was uh, Miss Audrina in this bathing suit. In Hawaii. Suit. Are you guys frolicking in the water together? Listen, man, or what? I messed up. <laughs> Uh, I would have put that down like a sick dog. Come on, dude. Now, for those of you with bad taste, Plan 9 from Outer Space is a hilariously terrible movie from 1959, and Tom Hanks is a real actor. Since you're here watching a video review of You Star on MTV, I'm assuming, just a hunch, that applies to some of you. I mean, how are these morons even on television? So some days I'm uncle situation, other days I'm doctor situation. I mean, you know, I'm just a, uh, I'm like a f***ing retard. Yes, you are, Mr. Situation. Yes, you are. Five hours and that's what we're gonna do. I'm good as hell when it comes to relationships, bro. Listening to Mike about relationship problems is like listening to a sailor about flying a plane. Perhaps the simplest description of You Star on MTV is that it puts uncreative people who never achieved fame in the shoes of uncreative people who somehow and unfortunately did. You act out popular scenes from your favorite MTV programs, that is, if you have any, and the Xbox 360's Kinect sensor captures the entire catastrophe. I've had a lot of personal issues with you, Johnny. While you're apologizing right now, there's no way for me to know how sincere it actually is. You know, but at some point, you just got to put an end to a, a cycle like that. And so, uh, I, hope, I hope you don't take this personally, Dunbar. I'm taking your key. I'm truly sorry. There are more than 80 scenes for you to star in, spanning an intellectual breadth of programming ranging from the Jersey Shore to the hills. There's also a limited choice of music videos to do some video karaoke to, but you can only perform a small portion of the songs, and as far as I can tell, you know, there are no actual musicians in the game. Fortunately, there is the state. Do you have goldfish? Any kind of fish? Do you need someone to feed your fish? I'm Don Law, I'll feed your fish, just call! Now, as a singing game, this is about as meritless as the so-called artists it includes. But as a U-Star game with MTV programming, it succeeds. The only issue is, is that the kind of goal you want your games to strive toward? If so, you'll be thrilled to know you can be in a scene next to Snooki. If not, you can, you know, fist pump your way past U-Star on MTV. And believe me, you're not missing anything. This... This isn't even poker face. I want your love in your golden face. 